Hi everyone and welcome to this or last week's ICRT vlog. Um, this is a new thing that we're doing on our former blog and we're giving you some stories that are more lifestyle and more entertainment and it's in an easily digestible video format. Hopefully this is something you like. We were technically supposed to do this every week but last week sick baby blah 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 so um, we're playing a little bit of catch up this week. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is actually coming up for this week. There's going to be a lot of bus discounts coming Coming up for the uh, mid-autumn festival long weekend. Remember, that's coming up this weekend. So starting on Friday this week until Monday next week, that's the day of the mid-autumn festival, there's going to be a 15% discount on a, long, uh, a lot of long-haul bus tickets. So those buses that travel from like city to city, from the north to the south, you know, that kind of a thing. So it's to help people get home and hopefully it's also to ease up a little bit on traffic because we get like really bad traffic you know during the holidays and so that's going to be happening this weekend okay and also if you're transferring from trains or HSR or the long-haul buses to local buses you can also get one stage free travel on the local buses so that is a huge discount so hopefully people will opt to take more public transport as opposed to driving their own cars Okay, the next story we have on our plate is a pop star and songstress slash master baker slash fashion icon Jolin Tsai. Um, she was in Okinawa this weekend, I think it was on Saturday, and she went to perform in the final farewell concert of Japanese pop icon Amuro Namie or Namiya Amuro and that was her final concert and it was like goodbye forever and ever she was retiring from the stage and actually it also happened to be Jolin Tsai's uh, birthday that day um, and a couple days before Jolin Tsai actually celebrated with her family they actually went up to Ali Shen and then um, her family gave her a surprise birthday and it was like she posted photos on her Instagram and it was really cute like she walked into the room with a bag of guavas like balaha and she looked completely shocked it was really cute and then for our last story for last week uh, Taipei was one of the five cities that was listed by the BBC News Network as one of the uh, fastest rising or most improved uh, livable cities so this is kind of like a report on a report on a report it's actually a, a, a list that's generated every year by the Economist Intelligence Unit and they choose 140 of the most livable cities around the world and then the BBC took that 140 and they chose five out of that list as like the fastest improving. Taipei was on the list, obviously. And then there was also Auckland and Kuwait City and Budapest and Honolulu. So the reason Taipei was chosen was that um, the, the BBC said it was an East Asian hub and that a lot of expats really enjoy living here because there's really good health care for everyone, including people who are not necessarily Taiwan citizens. And then there's also a lot of investment in education and infrastructure. So congrats Taipei. Okay and that'll do it for last week and then we'll, uh, we'll also have another episode coming up later in the week for this week as well. Hope you enjoy it.